inside. Let's get outside. Hey everyone, it's Tuesday evening's weather for Weather Geeks. After I record this video, I know I'm going to get out and get some fresh air. It's a beautiful summer evening across the valley on this 15th day of June 2021. We're halfway through the month and I thought we'd do a little check in on where we've been so far this month. And of course, we'll talk about what's going to happen going into the future. With our new uh, climate averages that were released about uh, six weeks ago, our average high on the 16th day of June is now 79 degrees. We still have a few degrees more to climb before we see our averages peak at 83 during the middle of July. But on today's date, our average high is 79. We fell short of that today for the second consecutive day. It was cooler than average after a long stretch of highs in the 80s from the 4th through this past Sunday. For the month so far, halfway through the month, 3.6 degrees warmer than average. This is actually our warmest first half of June since 2008, 13 years ago. All right, no uh, measurable precipitation today. We had a couple of sprinkles. That was about it. Uh, for the month at the Youngstown Warren Airport in Vienna, we are running a little bit of a surplus, mostly thanks to the couple of rounds of storms we had on Sunday, which ended up dropping a little over an inch worth of rain at the, uh, at the airport. 2.15 is where we stand for the month so far, and halfway through June, that's 0.21 above the average. All right, today we had a buildup of cumulus clouds. And a couple of sprinkles tried to pop out of these clouds from time to time. That was about it. And uh, the skies cleared out quickly late this afternoon. And this evening, it is absolutely glorious outside. What's also glorious, how dry the air mass is. Dew points, anytime they're below 60 in the summer season, hey, that's a real treat. But now we're seeing dew points here in the 7 o'clock hour getting into the lower 40s across the area. And that is very dry for meteorological summer, and that means temperatures will cool very rapidly this evening, especially just after sunset. All right, across the country, it's actually pretty quiet uh, with just a ring of showers and storms along the eastern seaboard, the Gulf Coast, and then a few hit or miss showers out west. And speaking of the west, that's where the big national weather story is. It is the heat out west. Current temperature 114 in Phoenix. And, you know, it's Phoenix. It's supposed to be hot, right? Well, even by Phoenix standards, that's pretty hot. Uh, Denver is close to 100. 104 in Billings. Some all-time June records are falling across the front range of the Rockies. And see this spot to the west of Vegas where the, the color palette here is green? This is Death Valley right here. And uh, temperatures into the 120s in June is pretty rare. Not unheard of, but rare. It's much more common in Death Valley, of course, in the month of July. Nothing like that around here. Again, temperatures cool off quickly this evening. And then tomorrow morning, if you're an early riser, if you're going to be up at 6 a.m., uh, chilly. I mean, some of the cooler spots might be 44 degrees tomorrow morning. On average, mid-40s as the day gets underway. But, of course, with the sun rising at 10 till 6 and a full morning of sunshine on the way, we're not going to be in the mid-40s for long. Uh, we're expecting temperatures to rise into the lower 70s tomorrow afternoon. Overall, just a real winter tomorrow. A few cirrus clouds, that's it. Uh, not the buildup of cumulus like we had today. High pressure gives us another glorious day on Thursday, another chilly start. Thursday morning, there might be a 41 or 42 on the weather map in, in some places, but in the afternoon we should get into the mid-70s. And then on Friday, this will be kind of interesting. There might be actually a pretty good complex of thunderstorms that develops at night, Thursday night, and then kind of dies out Friday morning as it moves through the Midwest. We'll probably get some of the blow-off clouds from that, and we might even see a pop-up shower or storm around here, especially Friday afternoon. Don't think it, it is a lot of wet weather at this point. All right, if you have outdoor plans as we head into the upcoming weekend, I've uh, maintained the low-end chance of a shower or storm in our Saturday forecast. A boundary is going to kind of stall nearby, and because of that, we have to allow for that possibility of a shower or a storm on Saturday. And then uh, Father's Day on Sunday is looking dry with temperatures seasonably warm around 80 degrees. But, you know, the second half of June does not look particularly hot at all. There's going to be some seasonably warm days, sure. We might even pop into the mid-80s uh, the day after Father's Day on Monday. But overall, this is the 8-14 to 14 day outlook, so basically middle of next week into the following week. Not looking particularly hot. I don't think we're going to see a 90 anytime real soon. That'll do it for me tonight. Short and sweet with the quiet weather upcoming. Thank you for watching tonight's weather for Weather Geeks, and check out my updated forecast tonight on 21 News at 11 p.m.